Get the highest rated local weather app from the App Store today. Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Stacy May. Our Labor Day weekend sure got off to a soggy start yesterday. We still had some rain coming through all night long, but it did move out on schedule early this morning, and then our weather just improved all day long. Skies cleared from west to east, humidity dropped, and temperatures uh, were very nice uh, right around the 80-degree mark this afternoon. Now let's look at live first warning Doppler radar right now just to confirm that it is nice and dry across uh, the entire tri-state. And we are going to be staying that way, it looks like, not only for tonight, uh, but through the day tomorrow. And we really have little to no chance of rain in the forecast uh, all week long. We may even make it through next weekend uh, on the mainly dry side. That is the way it's looking right now. That's our view outside right now, our roofclaim.com tower cam uh, in downtown Owensboro there. Looking kind of at the blue bridge, lit up in uh, some of those orange to uh, yellow colors, and you can see them changing there. And Smothers Park there at the bottom of your screen. We continue to cool through the 60s. We're down to 64. Dew point dropped into that tolerable, if not pleasant, range today. It's at 61, and just a light breeze at three miles per hour. Now, as that temperature continues to drop to around that dew point of uh, 60 degrees, uh, we may see some patchy fog develop overnight and linger into early tomorrow morning. So just keep that in mind. But again, we're well down in the tolerable range now. We got a little humid again yesterday. We've even been pleasant at times. And I think we'll kind of stay here uh, between that tolerable and pleasant air for the next several days and probably through much of this week. Really, in your seven-day forecast, I have one humid day uh, on the board. I'll show you that in just a second. But temperatures right now falling through the 60s, and these temperatures will continue to drop down to around 60 uh, by early tomorrow morning. So a cooler start to the day tomorrow, but then we're going to warm things up real quick as uh, we go through our Labor Day. So storm trackers showing clear skies now across the tri-state, and as we look to the west, lots of clear skies. So we've got some great weather coming for our holiday tomorrow. And we're going to keep that going for most of this week. So here's an updated look at Future Tracker. Skies stay mainly clear overnight. Again, maybe a little patchy fog first thing tomorrow morning. Then as we go through the day tomorrow, you have plenty of sunshine uh, from start to finish on the way. So enjoy tomorrow. It will get a little warmer than today, but still not too humid. Then clear skies and cool temperatures again tomorrow night. Heading into Tuesday, we should see a mostly sunny sky, maybe warming up a degree over what we do tomorrow, but still not too humid. Then tomorrow night, actually Tuesday night, I should say, into Wednesday morning, a cold front will be coming in from the northwest. But notice it's not going to have much rain with it, maybe an isolated shower or two and some clouds first thing Wednesday morning. That quickly moves on out, and that cold front is just going to kind of reinforce the lower humidity, that drier air, and also cool our temperatures down a little bit for the middle to end of the week. So here's your forecast for the rest of tonight. Clear skies, but some patchy fog and cooler, upper 50s to around 60 for the low. Beautiful Labor Day tomorrow, sunny skies, warm but pleasant humidity. Highs will climb into the middle 80s. Tomorrow night, we'll go down to around 60 again, and then we'll go to the mid, maybe some upper 80s on Tuesday with plenty of sunshine. We've got that mainly dry cold front coming through Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, and then it takes our highs into the low 80s and keeps the humidity down for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Look at those three days. Plenty of sunshine, absolutely gorgeous and feeling good and still not feeling bad next weekend. Just a partly cloudy sky, a little humid on Saturday, not as humid on Sunday, and temperatures pretty close to normal, mid to upper 80. So this is a good-looking seven-day forecast. Beautiful-looking seven-day yeah, forecast, like Stacey. The bear of good news mm -hmm. tonight. Thank you so much. Still ahead here tonight on Eyewitness News, officials say that at least four planes set to evacuate.